Marlborough Smart and Connected is a breakthrough program that was facilitated by the Marlborough District Council to empower our communities to find their own destinies. And this makes Marlborough a better place for people to live, work and visit. Marlborough Smart and Connected has really demonstrated the benefit of empowering communities through focusing their passion on a shared picture of future success. The community engagement approach sitting at the heart of Smart and Connected is a key reason for the program's significant success to date. It's very satisfying proof of a process Business Lab has been developing and using with different groups and communities over the last 10 years. The Smart and Connected visitor economy work has enabled us to document a vision and a growth plan for the sector. It clearly articulates our strengths as a visitor destination and provides focus on what we collectively need to deliver results. And it's so exciting to be doing it as one regional team. Well, Picton Smart and Connected is really designed to be a community-led, cohesive way of thinking in, in a small community which existed for a long time without a, a council and therefore was a bit rudderless in terms of its direction and its initiative. So Smart and Connected provided a framework for uh, a steering group to be established, volunteers, uh, 12 people, which I've been proud to lead for the last 12 months. And in doing that, we've created some 12 working groups that have been active in the community, involving some 70 people, all of whom have got views and opinions, and we're trying to bring them together in a cohesive force so that we can try and speak as one as a community. I think that one of the great things that Picton Smart and Connect has done in just over a year is actually bring together people from disparate parts of the community who are beavering away on great activities and they're not always aware of what each other is doing and that's where Picton Smart and Connected has come in. The Bike Walk Marlborough has been a great example of that because we've linked up people from the Queen Charlotte track to the people putting a bike path out to the snout and that's how we can go forward for all sorts of other projects in the future. Back in early 2015 there was no vision for the for the town centre um, but via the Smart and Connected program we set up a representative group for the CBD which is the Blenheim Business Association which is now established and working well and our biggest win to date has been the two million dollars worth of funding to upgrade the town centre. Smart and Connected came along at a really important time for Renwick and the community there. The Renwick Residents Association was in the process of folding and we, we really had a, a strong need for new leadership to take over as the, the voice of the community. We've now got 10 really passionate people on a steering group for the Smart and Connected and between us we look after eight different working groups which are um, focusing on a variety of projects that are really important to the future of Renwick to make it a fantastic place to live, work and play. So uh, Havelock Smart and Connected really kicked off this whole transformation process whereby now we have uh, unified leadership, we have a central government funded full-time community development worker, we have a community plan with the United List of Priorities and uh, everyone that's Every drip, every creek, every stream, every bit of community effort is now feeding this big river of progress. And I think that's really what people are feeling when they see Havelock now. You know, it's changing, it's exciting, something's happening here. Uh, and what's even more exciting is that now we're coordinating at a regional level. So everyone that's working to make Havelock, to make Renwick, to make Picton a better place, together are making Marlborough a better place. Um, ultimately, that's the smart and connected system at work. Yeah, we have found with Smart and Connected that um, it's the process has identified a number of problems in our industry. One of those is our engagement with the community. We have a relatively poor PR and um, this, this has uh, uh, geared us along to, to take some initiatives in terms of better PR, getting a better public understanding of what we do as an industry and our place in the Marlborough community. As Mayor of Marlborough, I'm extremely proud of what we've committed to as a council. This is going to have huge benefits, Smart Connected, right across our province. Something we haven't done before, unique to Marlborough, but also unique to New Zealand. So I think it's a wonderful initiative.